it's me, Coco. If you've dipped your toe into the wild world of NFTs, you've probably heard of something called gas. Gas is the transaction fee you pay to make a transaction on a blockchain network. Most NFTs are sold on the Ethereum network and gas fees there are really high. In fact, $100 is a reasonable amount to pay for gas fees, but they can even go up to thousands of dollars. Gas fees might be getting a little bit cheaper and energy efficient thanks to the ERC-721A contract. Here's how it works. But first, if you're new to crypto and NFTs and you have any questions about anything that I'm about to say, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. And if you think that this information is useful, hit that like button and the subscribe button if you wanna see more content from me about conscious crypto. All right. Let's go. The ERC-721A contract was developed by the Azuki team as a way to make gas fees lower for people who bought more tokens on their contract. With this contract, you can buy as many tokens as you want and essentially pay the same exact gas as you would pay to mint just one token. But first, let's talk a little bit about how the ERC-721 contract works. When bulk minting NFTs on the ERC-721 contract, the original one, it saves your address next to each one of the token IDs that you bought. So if you were to buy six, the first six tokens, your address would be next to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. When the contract needs to find out who owns each token, it goes to the token ID and looks for the address next to it. The thing is, the owner address is pretty redundant when the tokens are minted in batches. What the ERC-721A smart contract does is it only sets your address for the first token that you minted, and then it leaves all of the rest of the token addresses blank. Here's how it works. Say that you minted five tokens. Your Ethereum address would be saved next to the first token that you bought, and then the next four would be blank. The next person who does a bulk mint will have their address saved next to the next token ID, and then the rest of the ones that they bought will be blank. When you need to find out who owns, let's say token number four, it will find token number four, see that it's blank, and then search upwards to see that address that owns it. And then it knows that all of those addresses that are blank right there in that chunk belong to that address and that these blank ones belong to this address. This saves a lot of gas because the address only needs to be saved once per bulk mint instead of once per item minted. That might not seem like it would be that much more efficient because it's just a tiny piece of information, but consider the fact that that piece of information is shared across a decentralized network of let's say millions of computers and it's stored permanently. So on this ERC-721A contract, not only does it save gas for the storage, but it's also more energy efficient and more sustainable. What about when you wanna sell your tokens? Most of the efficiency is at mint, but there is an energy efficient way to sell your tokens. When a token is sold under the ERC-721A contract, let's say on this list that we already saw, and the owner, the original owner, wanted to sell a token that was in the middle of the list. That token ID would get updated with the new address, and then their next token would get re-updated with their address so that everything below it would know that it would still belonged to the original owner. That means that two addresses are saved in this case, and the gas fees could be theoretically twice as much as if they sold a token from the end of their list. So the more ecologically sustainable and cheaper way to sell the tokens would be to sell the tokens that have the highest token number in your batch mint. Theoretically, we'll see how it plays out. It's really cool and exciting to see the ways that the NFT and crypto space are able to save not just money, but also energy. And this is only the beginning. So if you want to see more about how to engage in cryptocurrency and blockchain more sustainably, be sure to hit the subscribe button and see more content from me. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.